Hello YouTubers and welcome to Chef Bill Cooks. For this episode of Chef Bill Cooks tonight I'm making roast rack of lamb, green beans and shallots, and potatoes for dessert and apple pie. The timeline for preparation is very sensitive. We're going to be using frozen green beans, some crushed minced garlic, shallots, onions, and those will be roasted on a roasting pan. With olive oil on the pan, sprinkle the shallots gracefully over the pan. Then add the green beans. Again, as gracefully as you can. Very good. Add a little extra, extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, coarse ground black pepper and sea salt, and sprinkle some minced garlic over it. Then you're ready to bake. And it's into the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. To add a little flavor to the rack of lamb, I'm going to add some onions. We're going to roast these onions in the roasting pan with the lamb. So here's two half onions, which I'll just put in the pan. This is the seasoned French rack of lamb from Trader Joe's. 25 minutes at 350 degrees should do it. I like to serve Parker House rolls with my dinner, and these are Trader Joe's artisan breads Parker House rolls. An excellent choice. Well, you can tell I'm a chef, first of all. This is Chef Bill Cooks. And you can tell I'm a chef because I'm using chef tools and tongs. No normal people do that. And we're using the French seasoned rack of lamb from Trader Joe's. Hold on. A good chef would know, a television chef would know how to do this. So, the rack of lamb, rib side down in the pan. Take a look at the pan, please. The pan has onions and potatoes, which will all roast together in the oven. So, I think we're ready. Let me get the mitts. Next scene, it's ready to go in the oven. So, come on over and take a look at the oven. See, what are in here, Timmy? We have the rack of lamb. We have the oven light. We have the uh, roasted pot thing. The potatoes. Thing. Yeah, that's good. Back up. Do that. And we'll put that in for 25 minutes, and we should be ready to go. Thanks very much. To make a sauce from the drippings, sometimes you add a cup of wine. To the, to the roasting pan as the meat, potatoes, and onions are cooking. In this case, a very nice Shiraz from Trader Joe's. One of my tricks is to serve the vegetables and the starches, the potatoes, in a bowl which has been warmed. I put some water in the bowl, then nuke it, and the bowl is warm. Therefore, the potatoes and onions that go into it won't be cold, won't be cooled off by the bowl. Very good idea. A chef would know this. Sometimes the meat doesn't cook fast enough, so what you'll do then is to sear it in a pan and broil it in the oven. So here it goes into the broiler. Okay, so now the, the, the rack of lamb has rested for 10 minutes. All the juices have been absorbed back inside, and it's now time to move it from the resting pan to the carving table. And I will carve these ribs, if I can. Look at that. How did that turn out, Eric? Yeah. Does it look just right to you? Yeah. I think it looks just right to me. This is a rack of lamb. Go. Seasoned, Frenched, rack of lamb, broiled, medium, rare. Bowl. Clipped. So we're plating up to a serving dish. Yep. The rack of lamb. <coughs> Ready for dinner? Ready for dinner? Chef Bill Cook says bon appetit.